Hello everyone, welcome to Semiconductor. Today's topic is plasma dicing. What is a plasma dicing? Plasma dicing is a type of vapor dicing technology and uses plasma per dicing. It is a parallel process, so plasma dice all scribe lines at the same time, rather than travel all scribe lines one by one, like blade dicing and laser dicing. This is SAM image after plasma dicing. And you can see the gap between dice, and this part of vapor is etched out by plasma. You also can see some patterns at the side of sun dye, and it is made by plasma dicing. These patterns are called scallops. If you zoom in, it looks like this, and size of scallop is determined by process parameters. Also, plasma dicing can be used to dice non-rectangular shape, for example, hexagonal shape die, which is not possible by blade dicing. How plasma dicing works? This is a simplified process flow. Step 1. We have a vapor, and it has icy pattern on top. Step 2. Apply mask, expose, and develop. It is a photolithography process. Mask is a liquid material and coated on vapor surface by spin coating. Bake mask material and it turns into solid state from liquid state. Expose and develop. So, mask material at scribe line is removed. Then scribe line is exposed for following plasma etching process. Step 3. Plasma etching. In this process, vapor dicing is completed by plasma etching of vapor. This plasma etching is deep reactive ion etching process using two different gases and also called Bosch process. For more details, Bosch process is three-step process and it repeats as much as you want, depends on wafer thickness. Step 1 is isotropic etching using plasma 1. Step 2 is passivation using plasma 2. Step 3 is passivation etching. And these three steps repeat as a cycle, then make scallop a sidewall. Step 4. Remove mask. Mask is to protect icy pattern on vapor surface from plasma etching. So, it is removed after plasma etching. This is whole for process steps. Step 1. Vapor to dice. Step 2. Apply mask, expose, and develop. Step 3. Plasma etching. Step 4. Remove mask. What kinds of application plasma dicing can be used? One application is very small dye like 1 by 1 mm. And it can dice 10 times more than blade dicing because it etches all scribe lines in parallel. This small dye includes RFID and RF filter. And right, it is bow filter and it is stack dye configuration. Plasma dicing can dice these stack dyes without damage. Another application is for image sensor, which is sensitive on particle contamination. MEMS dye is sensitive on mechanical stress, so it is also good application of plasma dicing. This is plasma dicing machine from company name SPTS. It is a subsidiary company of KLA. Plasma dicing machine is also available from other companies like Panasonic and Plasma Thumb. Let's summarize plasma dicing by comparing with other major technologies. Plasma dicing uses plasma and it is chemical etching process. So, there is no mechanical stress by blade and no summer stress by laser. Then, it increases dye strength. Also, it can etch much narrower scribe line like 10 micrometer compared with 80 micrometer per blade dicing. And it increased total number of dye in one vapor. It is very important to reduce fab cost per dye. Other dicing technologies need to travel all scribe lines and it takes lots of time especially for small dye with more scribe lines. But plasma dicing etches all these scribe lines at the same time, means in parallel. So, it can dice more quickly than other technologies. Plasma dicing also can dice irregular shape as well, rather than rectangular shape only. Every dicing technology has pros and cons, and you need to decide which solution is good for your case. Thanks for watching, and have a nice day. Bye bye.